Alright everybody, I'm going to attempt to make this spoon. This is a poplar, and we'll try. I'm not really sure how this is going to uh, turn out, but we will certainly see. It's kind of a medium-sized spoon. I'm going to start by <clears throat> making the stop cuts, which I did not do that yet. I'll do that now. So the stop cuts are in there, and let me come right back. I'll set this up, and I'll uh, chop those sides off. All right. So I'm just going to start by uh, knocking these sides down here. Whoops. Definitely use that piece. All right, so I pretty much have this uh, half done here. Whoop, sorry. And I'll work on this side, and we'll see what happens from there. I'll be right back. I'll come back when I have some more done. All right, I'm back. So knock the sides down, and I started the bowl a little bit. And I'm just trying to, I'm kind of experimenting with some techniques and some cheaper, which I shouldn't do, some cheaper hook knives that I got, uh, which are crap. So I probably will just be throwing those in the trash. Um, so I'm just going to, you know, work this a little bit on camera here. I'm not doing a very good job here, but... Work this a little bit, and then um, you know I'll come back when I have more done. But I'll show a little bit of this work here. <clears throat> guess like a little stirring spoon. It's not big enough for a serving spoon, I guess. I guess you could use it for that, but 
some kind of scoop or something. Hmm. Who knows? Possibilities are really endless with these things. Really limited by your imagination. What to use them for. This is actually coming along pretty good. So I'm just going to continue working on this. And when I have some more done, I'll come back. Alright guys. So... <clears throat> Oop, sorry. That's some of the bowl done. I think that's probably about as deep as I'm going to go. Uh, it's pretty, it's fairly deep in the middle, and then on the ends here, uh, it's, I guess, more shallow, I guess. And the reason for that is because the way this piece of wood is, it's not exactly uniform. It was a little thinner on this side. So I just kind of said, you know, I'll make it just kind of like a little scooper, I guess. I don't know. And this was just like a piece of wood that uh, came off of a bigger piece that, you know, it was it was too small for it to, to be a cooking spoon. So just kind of decided to make it like a little, I don't know, scooper, I guess. I don't know what to call it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, use a knife a little bit and kind of get underneath and start to shape the handle. And uh, I'll show some of that action here. And sorry for all the moving here. Make sure you guys are in screen here. Alright. <clears throat> you guys can't see anything. That's awesome. Sorry for the camera work here. I'll get it right one of these days. When I go off camera, I go in different positions, so you wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. Even if uh, I let it run all the way through, so sometimes you got to get into some funky angles to shave some of these pieces off. Especially, again, like I always say in my other videos, this is not green wood. This is seasoned wood, so typically people don't like to carve with this because it fatigues your hands. And, you know, you don't get as smooth of a cut when you're shaping everything. So it's not, I guess, as fun to, or as easy to uh, carve, I guess. So I'm going to continue working this down. And when I have some more done, I will come right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Not done yet, but I just wanted to show some of the progress here. I was going to make the handle right here, but I'm kind of feeling this longer handle. I'm going to actually cut this off because there's some paint here uh, when I seal the wood so the moisture doesn't escape too quickly I kind of seal it with paint so I may actually cut it here and just have like a little bit of a longer handle I'm kind of uh, feeling that longer handle with a lot of these spoons I feel like this would be too short so anyway I'll show some more of the work I'm gonna put a, a spine uh, on the back of this here I like the way that looks um, kind of add some elegance to the spoon where otherwise um, <clears throat> excuse me the way I'm doing them the way I like to carve anyway uh, again they're kind of more crude looking which I which is what I'm going for a little bit but adding a little subtle hint of uh, some lines or something I think is uh, kind of cool so I'm just shaping the bowl here spoon is pretty much done 
ex again, except for this front part here. I like this spoon. This is I'm actually surprised at how it's turning out. I really like this style here, this one. I probably have about another hour or so left on doing this. Maybe an hour and a half. And I don't want to use the axe on here again because I've already hollowed out the bowl and using the axe with that kind of force can uh, not always but it can uh, put a crack through your work so that would you know ruin it so gotta do it the long way here One's going to be beautiful. Well, they're all beautiful. <laughs> but this one's going to be really cool looking. Alright, so I'm just going to continue working on this bowl, shape, continue shaping it, shaping the spoon itself, and I'll come back when I have some more done. Alright everybody, so I've pretty much finished the carving, and the next step is going to be, I can't see the little light here, the next step will be the sanding, so I'm going to cut away and I'll come back when... Um, when the sanding is done, you can see that spine is kind of there. You can see it. So I'm going to sand this and I'll come right back. All right, and this is what we have after sanding. Hard to tell on camera, of course. Some nice spalting in there. The spine looks really good. So this is before sanding, and we'll get to the after sanding and once or after the oiling. Be right back. Oh, all right, everybody, and here is the finished product. This thing is beautiful. I finished this with olive oil and vegetable oil. And it still has to soak a lot, a lot longer, but man, this thing is nice. Really nice. I'm really proud of this one, as I am all of the spoons, but uh, I don't know. Something about this one I really like. This is going to be hard to sell this, or tough to sell it, uh, <laughs> for me to let this one go, so... But, uh, it will be sold, I hope. So here it is. This is the uh, poplar, another poplar spoon. I don't know, a little cooking spoon here. So I appreciate you guys watching and um, appreciate the support. And I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.